We are Boys Choir Bonipueri and you are now listening to Korea 24. We have a very special festive interview here for our special edition of Korea 24. Over 30 young students, musicians in their own right here in the studio with us from the Czech Republic. They're members of the Boys Choir Boni Puera, and they're one of Europe's most famous musical ensembles. They're touring Korea, South Korea right now for a series of Christmas concerts. And with us, we have uh, conductor Marek Stric joining us to provide a brief introduction of the boys as well. It's great to have you with us here. Thank you for having us. Well, boys, hello to you too. Great to have you with us. So first of all, could you give us a brisk introduction of the choir Boni Puri? Yes, of course. So our choir has a very long history that, that comes back to medieval times, uh, to year 1252 when, uh, when Boni Puri choir was uh, established at, at uh, Prague St. Vitus uh, Cathedral. Our uh, choir is uh, giving hundreds of concerts around the uh, world and we are happy to be in South Korea again. Uh, you have a very strong fan base in Korea, of course. Uh, how long have you been a conductor of Bonipura? So my tenure started at the uh, year 2019 in very difficult uh, times. And of course, before that, I was, uh, I was in uh, artistic touch with, with this ensemble and doing some, some projects. But on a regular basis, I, I, I do work uh, from two, 2019. Right, those are hard times, and you brave through them, and you led them through the prom through those hard times to the promised land here. And uh, it's the tenth time Boni Puri has come to Korea. Have you visited Korea before? Uh, unfortunately, this is my first time uh, in South Korea with the group, and in South Korea in general. But of course, uh, this choir was very, very, very often uh, here. And uh, last time, six years ago. Uh, long six, uh, six years, and uh, we are happy to be to be back uh, with this great, uh, great uh, Korean audiences, uh, great uh, halls, and uh, we enjoy being here very, very much. So, from six years back, are, any, are there any uh, members or staff that's still with the group? They've been to Korea before. I think for for sure, probably the the, the our o older uh, members. Right, the bigger boys at the back, of yeah. course. Uh, uh, raise your hands if you've been to Korea before. Oh, obviously at the back. Uh, so uh, who is visiting Korea for the first time? Wow, so more than half. Uh, may I ask uh, for maybe your first impression of Korea? Korea is so nice. Uh, it has beautiful uh, trees, uh, rivers. Uh, we have a lot, lot of audiences in here and it it has many nice people in there in Korea, and I think Voita may to say something. Anything in particular that you enjoyed while you were in Korea performing? There's a very friendly people, and so is a beautiful city. The, those are pretty on point, of course. Uh, let's move on to our next story. Uh, back to you, Mr. Sterling. Uh, tell us more about the program that you have in store. You, you had in store for us this year. So of course uh, we uh, we we want to present uh, the best from our repertoire, from the classical music, of course, uh, classical Czech music, uh, Dvořák, Smetana, uh, of course, also the highlights from classical music like uh, Handel, Hallelujah. Uh, but of course, we bring also some uh, Christmas music to bring the right Christmas uh, spirit. Uh, so we have uh, famous uh, Christmas carols and songs from all around the world uh, and also a little bit from the Czech, Czech Christmas carols. What do you think are some of the standout factors that makes your voice and the choir different from the rest? Well, I think the, the, Czech, uh, the Czech boys uh, choir school is very, very usual in the world. And uh, this this concept of uh, our choir is also very very unique, and, and and the way we we teach, sing, and the way we we organize uh, the group that is what what makes 
uh, our ensemble so 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 unique and uh, probably so 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 famous and i think we still keep our very original uh, sound of the ensemble that is coming from generation to 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 generation but there is something that 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 stays in the in the sound sound uh, qu quality so yeah that's 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 why it's amazing that you have a system where the boys can fully immerse in the musical program while pursuing their studies and their other endeavors as well which i find very admirable uh, can you tell us more about what you will be performing today so today uh, we, we we want to bring uh, some very nice Christmas uh, spirit and we will have a very famous song, Santa Claus is coming to town. A classic, uh, all-time favorite around the world, of course. Uh, KBS World Radio, of course, reaches almost all corners of the globe virtually. We are broadcasting in this interview shortly before Christmas. Do you have anything to tell our listeners across the globe? I wish everyone... Merry Christmas, Christmas in peace for everyone and uh, I wish everybody to have people you, you love and you like to have them around you for this Christmas. Right, being around the people uh, you yeah. care and uh, making time for them and being there is most important. Anything yeah. the boys would like to share with the rest of the world? Any message? No? I guess you pretty much resonate what they would like to tell the rest of the world. They're very fluent in English and Korean as well, I, I experienced, uh, according to our recent uh, uh, short little uh, encounters. But they're quite shy <laughs> other than performing their music. Thank you so much for being here with us and uh, here's wishing you a Merry Christmas in advance. Again, thank you for making time for us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Woo!